to get underway. This is map to Lunatic Esports. Just took cash 16 and 5 from Method. Method's going to be on CT side. We talked about how this map is used to be pretty CT sided, but recently uh, it's changed. It's even maybe even slightly T favored in the professional level. Mm, uh, you disagree? I mean, kind of. Yeah, I, I feel like of? we've just seen. I feel like we've seen some stronger T side play out of these teams, but I feel like it's such a since he still favors them. Map. I feel like just positionally, um, you know, being able to just I, I, the, the choke points are so tight on this map. I think it is still a, a very CT sided map, and the Lunatic players seem to be starting off all uh -oh. right. But actually, no, it looks like Ely and Justin teaming up to bring it back. You almost had a bomb plan. Looked like the bomb site was pretty much taken, but they took too much time. The bomb planter was shot, leaving one man left standing. Drake stuck over there by Van. Never a good position to be in when your bomb is all the way in sight. 3v1, they converge on him, and it's all over method. CT side, get the first point. Critical pistol round, setting themselves up for the next two uh, round wins. What happened? Uh, I, I mean, it looked like Lunatic Esports did a good job of getting out there and getting towards the bomb site, but then their their rotating players just weren't able to get in and support. Uh, we saw a player get shot in the back and killed on Cat trying to get his way back into the site to support, and eventually just the rotation caught up to them. They Those entry frags didn't really amount to much once they were all getting out there and fighting in the one-on-one -on -one situations, but they're going to be going for it again. Mainline super blind, going to get killed by Drossel. Let's see if Tibu tries to split Cat again. He got punished for it last time. Yeah, Mainline did a good job, though. He was doing his little jump peek thing, getting the, the intel and calls for the quick rotate bomb. It's going to get planted very quickly. Here's Draw Soul sitting in the corner and invert down by, I think that was Cat Corner, ends up getting uh, cut down himself. It is a winnable 2v2 oh, situation Strapper. for Lunatic. Drake. Oh, look at Strebber. Takes t down. Drake turns around, takes him as he jumps out the window. Feet never hit the ground. Drake all alone. Juke in the corner. And Justin, SMG, has got the gun advantage. Takes him down in those close quarters situations with the defuse method 2-0. Good for them. Yeah, good for Justin, really, with that 4K stepping up pretty much single-handedly for his team. Everyone else, for the most part, kind of just folded. Strebber, I, I hooked it up a little bit with that upper uh, frag taking up the uh, taking down the cat guy, rather. But either way, great save from Lunatic there, uh, working all those rifles and uh, other SMGs out of the hands of the counter-terrorists. And with that... Method's still going to be a little all over the place with their money, but still, they've spent a lot more cash than really they should have. And it's a shame that Lunatic was unable to lock up that round when it still would have been really pretty eco for them. Justin wow. getting two before getting overwhelmed. Yeah, that was a big palace rush, and finally Drake comes running in a little bit late out of uh, ramp. Pistol round, Justin did a whole lot of work. Um, Method, large and in charge. Lunatic's only able to take Justin down. That's kind of expected, though. You've got the one player playing super aggressive at Palace. He did the best he can, which was quite remarkable before he got run down. I'm sure Lunatic wished they could have taken a few more guns off of Method's hands because now, look at this. They've got a full buy with an off that's going to be Ely holding defense. Yeah, Lunatic could have bought an off if they had so chosen, but it really just seems like they're confident working uh, just rifles in their hands for now. And uh, I, I feel like this is uh, now Lunatic's opportunity to actually start winning some rounds. They were uh, unfortunately were unable to win that initial piss round, but then were able to kind of snap back and not be discouraged by that. Were pretty dangerous with those uh, with those pistols in their hands against the rifles. And Salon actually gets dinked through a wall by one of the Lunatic members. I was trying to figure out what happened, but do more finding a frag and uh, Drake finding the opening one as well. So a really quick five on three for Lunatic. Really good start for them. Yeah, there's a lot of mid-presence for Lunatic Esports. Uh, they ended up taking the off down. That was Ely. And then Streber also down. Now they're rotating back with the bomb through T-Spawn while maintaining mid-control. They're setting up for one of those classic A-split takes. Unfortunately, it is the wrong decision. We already see two people stacked at A near CT. And then finally, five mainline with the FAMAS working his way back towards B. Just to check the site, he says, you know what, guys? I don't see them there. I think something could be going on either in mid or ace. We've got a three-man defensive stack, very passive play. Silence, see somebody up on stairs. That's gonna be Draw Soul. Quick, long range from Moss, headshot kill. That's very impressive. Justin also being able to find Invert. That puts us in a two, or rather a three versus three situation. Bomb does get planted now. Pressure's on. Method, make the retake. Do what you can. Chucking the grenades. That's gonna be Mainline flushing out dark. Mainline gets confused, sees the dead body up, fires on 
Uh, top of stairs. That guy's already dead, though. He's going to get shut down. Justin, last man alive, though. In bomb site, fakes it, and gets baited out with the off from Cat. Yeah, those method players from CT really did a good job of uh, of keeping the lunatic players away from the site, even mauling off where the, the default plant is in between firebox and uh, the first triple stack boost box. But uh, ultimately, really good play from lunatic planning on the outside of the uh, boxes, the actual triple stack boxes for connector and jungle and allowing their players to, to fall back and not have to engage with those CT players for any longer than they had to. But kudos to Method for working down or around that should have been uh, a much more decisive lunatic win, especially uh, with those early picks. But Shrever and Justin teaming up for initial pistol frags, but they are going to answer back with Tivu. 3v3, Tivu's down to two health, peeks around the corner in uh, middle of sight, gets shut down quickly. Justin on defense, very fast rotation. Big Look flash. At how Look at how these guys are already in sight. Uh, Justin peeks the corner, ends up getting spotted, draw soul with the bomb. And the headshot kills mainline, and that happens so quickly. Classic A take, break it down. Yeah, I mean, that was really what it was. Uh, the CT uh, did a good job of engaging in apartments early on, trying to uh, force some kind of play with the pistols. They got the opening frags, but eventually uh, the positional advantage and then the firepower advantage caught up to them. So many method players just out and about, out of position. And then uh, ultimately, I mean, I really thought Justin was going to be able to lock up that round with that flash he had, flashing both of the terrorists so badly. I'm not even sure if he knew how good it was. And then Invert, while coming out of the flash, hits the really close scope shot uh, right around the the e box, old e box connector area. I mean, if Invert didn't hit that really clutch, really good shot, I think Method very easily could have locked that round up and Justin gets spotted crossing and taken down. Yeah, Justin wanted to take a little bit of information. He smokes ramp, peeks around the corner, sees some legs, and that's going to allow for a very quick rotation in. Might be the right call, though, because uh, we've got the T's getting cut down one by one, and now they're being pinched off from uh, CT and looks like also ramp. Do more all alone. His back is exposed to ramp. Takes some damage down to nine health. He's really in trouble trying to, trying to win this fight. Pulls out a grenade. That's probably not the right decision. Gets shut down by Ely. Silent wasn't even needed. Yeah, Ely did lock up that frag, but still slightly more sloppy play than I, I feel like we're all accustomed to, to seeing from Ely. But once again, all is well, that ends well. Method right back on the right foot, winning rounds and forcing Lunatic into a, what appears to be a save for them. No, no force really coming out, just pistols. And they're going to be going right back towards that B rush. They found so much success with it early on. And with Streber and, man, who is that? My camera whiffed away. Mainline and Justin all geared up in middle. If they rush straight B right now, they're going to find just Silent in there with an off, and they will be able to overwhelm him, especially since he's missed that first shot. They got to go now if they want that bomb planted. Yeah, Silent's going to do the smart thing. He backs off, plays around the corner. He finds himself stuck in smoke, backs off in two. A close quarters combat situation with Drake. You can't win that fight when it's a Tech 9 versus off at super close range. And uh, the bomb is going to go down very quickly. It's up to Justin and Ely on the retake. Justin's all alone. He's kind of in trouble here. If anybody peeks him, he might get screwed. Ely from uh, Market peeks the corner. Justin gets a little bit too aggressive, I think. Gets shut down. Ely, though, makes up for it with a 2K. It's up to do more. Where is do more? Just play the bomb. Play the timer. That's all he's got to do. Uh, oh, Ely going to okay. stick it. No diffuser. Yep, that's a powerful position. You plant that bomb for apartments and juke the corner. Yeah, two more able to come away with an op and a one-on-one -on -one win to put Lunatic uh, ahead with a huge eco round win. Really questionable play from Method. Now, I, and I mean, a putting someone at solo at beat, not you know, it's whatever. It's a gamble. It didn't pay off for them this yeah. time. I think the questionable play is just leaving an op alone at B. I guess they were hoping he would be able to get some, or, or it's not that they. I mean, he could have just played in so many better places where he would have been able to stay safe. But they, he put himself in a position where he was double scoped in on apartments where he made it so. easy easy for him to get overwhelmed he just didn't set himself up in a good position and once they did overwhelm him the uh, you know the incoming players just had no hope of retaking there so good on well, the lunatic players of taking advantage for that well a b site take worked last time around and uh it's gonna work again against an echoing team they quickly Grab the bomb site, take it down. Streber is able to find an AK-47, tries to save it. I think he gets a little aggressive trying to go for maybe an exit frag, runs into draw soul, draw soul for the win. 
and that's going to be no weapons saved. Tied game four and four, Lunatic Esports. They were down. They're now back on top. And if we take a quick look at the finances uh, method, they don't have a whole lot of money. They could maybe have force bought, but they're going to do the more conservative thing, save again, and uh, hopefully win next round. Yeah, not going with the ace gaming strategy and choosing to actually go for a double save. Kind of refreshing seeing a double save. I feel like so yeah. many teams in, in counter check like to force buy just for the sake of force buying. But I, I do think this will help them more down the line. Invert in a position to get caught off guard, and he does while Dumore finds a frag elsewhere. Now the incoming terrorists are going to have to deal with the two players in apartments. I oh, love this move by Justin going all the way around. He's going to flank them. There's Draw Soul. Dropping the bomb, lunatic. Full control of the site. You've got the uh, stolen off in the hands of Strebber. Justin's gonna come up, uh, peek the corner close at ramp. See somebody up here on stairs. Flashes his way in. The question is, what is Strebber doing with the off? He's holding the hard angle, trying to work his way into the site with Justin. This is only slightly winnable. They're quickly running out of time, and uh, there you see the call. Blue players streaming out towards. T spawn. Drake's gonna get chased. I don't think he's necessarily gonna find anybody. No, no. He might Strabble. find Strebber. Jump here, Drake. Oh, the Deagle. Oh, he baits out the shot. Let's see if he can get the frag here. And oh no, Strebber no. does it with the CZ. That's not dead. how. Uh, yeah, not how I anticipated that going down. But I feel like the CZ has been a, a really surprising staple in. It's uh, back. Yeah, it's back uh, in these last two games. We saw uh, Mizaki using it so well uh, in their uh, first game against Team Liquid on train, and now we're seeing it come up clutch for Method right there to hold on to that op. With that, they're going to be running a double op setup. They have to uh, fend off another Lunatic A take, and they're going out dry. They're just going right for it. I can't even talk anymore. It's going down. Do more finds a frag. No <laughs> it's going down. Pretty uh -huh. much. Lunatic Esports is uh, down two players so far. The AWP in Palace gets out opt by Ely. Headshotted two to boot. That just adds insult to injury. t is caught with a grenade in his hand uh, by Mainline. And you see just no sight entry. Bomb's not going to go down. Very frustrating round for Lunatic Esports method. Finally coming back a little bit. They're going to be playing a double op setup. Clearly one of them is going to be watching mid. The question is, where is the other going to be put you watch b site or do you do a from uh from far back uh it looks like they're gonna be cheating or they, they're gonna be putting over towards b that's actually where silent used it before and where they got overrun while they were pushing b but this time they're gonna be smartly putting a rifler with them in main line definitely uh learning from their mistakes earlier on and learning by uh what they got punished for i really thought lunatic was gonna have an easier time taking the a bomb site right there they chose to go out without uh, too much delay just trying to force the engagement early on it was uh good plays by streber and justin just get those opening frags once you see those two names come in you don't even know what name to say yeah uh, and especially with the nines they look so similar but either way Dumore and Drake teaming up to catch a frag on Mainline, who has just been uh -oh. struggling recently. He's such a good player, just unable to find the success that really he's capable of. And Shepard finding a frag on Invert as well. So down to a four on four. Boosting going on in mid. That's going to be Draw Soul, peek in the corner. Uh, interesting. Decides, no, I'm not going to go into window. Bomb right rotates. Call. Yeah, probably. That window is being watched. Bomb's going to work its way towards A. No one splitting Palace. Strabor senses something's up. He might have heard footsteps. I'm not sure. Peaks the corner. Is able to take draw still out and connector, which really weakens this lunatic esports push. Dumore is able to take the uh the, the stairs player down very quickly with a headshot, though. That's important. CT smoke is down. Make it rain. And Ely stuck behind. The bomb's gonna be planted. This is such a frustrating position to be. You're stuck on the other side of smoke. You could push it, but Drake's watching it, and he's gonna wreck anybody for doing that. Justin boosted up top, just trying to get some picks. Running out of time, and I think Lunatic's in a really good position to go ahead and win this round. Yeah, definitely. Now, Ely, last man standing, gonna have to deal with two terrorists. We're not gonna peek him, not give him any opportunity. Finally, do more peeks out, gets the frag. And I love all these, uh, I guess, I kind of unconventional plants from Lunatic. They're not super unconventional, they're things we've seen a lot, but I feel like we just see so many teams do the standard, you know, default plant right next to Firebox, or if they're gonna plant for Cat, they plant right in that little, you know, corner thing in the, on the triple stack boxes. 
I, even the you know the, the the tricky plants have become standard. But uh, Lunatic has been using the the full uh, playbook of them, planning for a cat, planning you know oddly on the other side of the the firebox box, uh, just really mixing it up where uh, where they can get the bomb down and where they can defend the bomb from, just not leaving it in places where they can't defend it. Even at uh, the B bomb site in that one on one that Doom War one, it was all because the bomb was planted in a spot that he could defend. In this round, the B take is on, but so far things are favoring Method here. Very much so. Silent just turning things around with his AWP, taking down everybody as they come out of B apartments, and that's going to be another victory for Team Method. It's six versus six, and I mean, if you hit the tab button, you can see just how back and forth this thing has been. Method won the pistol round and the next few rounds after that. Lunatic with a couple of round wins, and it's been back and forth and back and forth. No one able to really establish economic momentum. It's like one save round, and then you're back. Lunatic this time on the save. Can they do it as they stream into B site with the bomb? They're taking their time, getting ready. Hopefully, they get that injury frag, maybe plant the bomb, get some money, or even get the round win. We'll see. Ely gonna find that early engagement in underpass, and he's actually eventually gonna get punished for it, but either way, X to two in favor of uh, Method. Make that four, actually, for them. Well, successful eco so far. TV last man standing, but they've taken three members of Method down. Can't find another one. Straybor with the M4 has the advantage at long range. Gets the headshot on TV, who is already uh, kind of out of position. His, uh, his location was known. Seven and six is the score, but Lunatic Esports, they can't be upset about that. They hurt a couple of people. They got the cash they need. Uh, you do see Draw Soul rocking the Galil. No ops in anybody's hands. Uh, they've got enough grenades, though. They could, they could throw some stuff and even back off and go to another site with uh, what they've got in hand. Yeah, and, you know, even though Method is starting to, you know, potentially pull away right here as, wow, actually Lunatic's going to be going up Cat and forcing the engagement early. Silent on top of Cat with that off needs to go big here. Gets one, gets two, gets taken down. Wow. And now a three on three with Mainline, the last man standing in the B bomb site. Stepping up for his team and catching a frag. He's ready to rock over here at Van. Problem is his position was given out when he got that frag, and Invert's going to jump out and say, nope, good night. Invert goes into market, gets a little bit of damage done on uh, somebody as he takes this corner. Oh, uh, he's so Flash behind. bang. If only he pushed it, he would have had the kill on Ely. Justin out. Runs into Justin. Does he know he's there? Now he does. Takes the shot. Headshot. And uh, Mainline standing by with an off. It's going to be the 1v1 situation. Really bad situation for... Uh, for Ely. Ooh. Takes a shot. Whiffs. Draw soul. USP to the face. He's got a kit. No, he doesn't, but he's got plenty of time. Defuse. Yeah, definitely. Ely didn't exactly whiff there. Did hit him through uh, the, the headshot wall. Not quite boxes back there. Uh, so, did he actually paired it with two nice shots to uh, pick up that round win. Uh, although it probably shouldn't have even been worked down that low, especially since they had such a huge uh, you know, gun advantage going into that round. Yeah, Lunatic is starting to lose a grip on this half towards the end, but I still I still do believe, A, that this is a very CT-sided map, no. uh, and B, that uh, you know as long as they can keep it close, they're actually pulling away in, in that sense because it is so CT-sided. Now, obviously, time will tell, and I feel like last time I did cast Mirage, it was two really strong key sides that uh, made the difference. At, wow, Ely picking up a, a frag, I think, through smoke. smoke. Yeah, yeah, good on him right there, but they're going to be boosting right up into that smoke and looking to potentially catch him off guard. Ely is not looking in that direction. He is not ready for this at all when Drake pushes through here. Sneaky beaky. Ely did move in the sandwich. Up. Yeah, that should have been an easy kill for Drake, but uh, Ely moving in the sandwich, standing by. I think he's, he's ready to throw a flashbang in case there's a... A ramp push, the bomb is making his way towards ramp. Drake goes into CT. This could be very, very powerful for Lunatic. Even though they are down two men, they have a one-man deficit. If he comes in through uh, CT, he's going to catch Ely off guard. Oh, does he go for the knife? So, yeah. He does. Stick him. That's it. Now, Streb are all alone in connector. Bomb comes marching in. Drake not ready to shoot. He probably should have had his off out before. Peek in that corner. Doesn't matter. Invert's going to go ahead and make up the difference. Bomb gets planted. Mainline all alone at B site. Late to the party on the retake. 
Yeah, it's going to be a tough one for him to win. It is once again... Well, it's actually going to be going, going in that actual default plant spot. I guess they uh, were a little too concerned about mainline's rotate to plant it on the other side of the boxes, and they probably could have gotten it down. But either way, he's rushing right in, and Tivu decapitating him and ending the half 8-7 to seven wow. in favor of uh, Method Esports. This is a close game, a much closer game than what we saw on Cash, but I think that close score line just means that Lunatic is going to be able to uh, now pull away uh, from the, the, the well, starting with a pistol round, ideally, uh, and then putting it together with rifles from them. But... You know, it'll be interesting to see what methods uh, T-Side looks like on this map. I think this is a really unforgiving terrorist side if you're not really prepared for it. But there's no way they went into the, the picks and bands not knowing that Lunatic was going to be really strong on this map. Well, Mainline not doing so hot for Team Method. Uh, he's, he's able to do a couple of plays where it counted, but he only made five kills. Five, two, and 12 deaths with a plus minus of negative seven. That's a far cry from the rest of his team all making a positive number. Uh, man of the team for Method was Justin with 15 kills, one assist, and 11 deaths. Lunatic Esports, relatively even, too. I don't know. It's it's so hard to call. These teams are evenly, evenly matched on Method based on that first half right here. You said it's somewhat CT-sided. That has been the meta for uh, such a long time in this game. Lunatic now lining up 7-8 and eight to take it away. Yeah, you know, I, it is, I still do believe it is CT sided, but it is hard to deny that the terrorist sides on this map have been getting stronger. I feel like it is slowly shifting more even, but uh, I, I still think that uh, this map can be really punishing on T side for teams that are not prepared or just absolute mismatches between teams. Uh, you know, I'm glad for Method that they didn't just get absolutely worked like they did on Cash. Uh, I'm sure they're, they're, you know, headspace right now is a lot better. I'm sure they were not, you know, feeling too great after that first one and to be able to come back from such a, a bad first game and, you know, at least stay competitive in the second one, uh, I feel like is a, a testament to really just solid play, uh, you know, even if they weren't able to put it together earlier. But without any further ado, we're going to be going live with the second half of this game, Method versus Lunatic, 8-7 to seven in favor of Method. Let's see if they can put it together with a pistol round and, you know, potentially tie this series. Second map underway. Keep in mind, Lunatic just won 16 and 5 on the first map of cash. Somewhat unexpected, especially for a lot of you in CSGO Lounge, betting your skins away. Uh, let's see what they've got. Slow play for Method. No shots exchanged yet. Oh, look at this. Drake getting very aggressive. Peaks the corner. It's going to cost him his life, though. Silent takes the kill, and that's going to be entry into a site. But we've got a three-man stack. Draw Soul doing some serious work from CT. He's going to get shut down. Bomb dropped. 2v3. Fight oh, over the bomb. Justin. Yeah, Justin finding do more. Now, it's up to Silent. Look at that headshot. What I love about the USB on the pistol round, all you got to do is get that one tap and you can be a game changer. Do more over there in the corner. Free fire everything you've got later. Is it going to work? I don't know. I would be so shocked if someone is able to pull this one off. An ace clutch to boot would be a pretty impressive of time working against him and that bomb down in such a rough spot. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it. He's going to be peeking out and trying to just force an engagement, some kind of one-on-one, -on -one. zoning off, do more to try to fight draw so he's trying his hardest oh. to find a frag and they're not giving it to him it's so frustrating to watch and draw so finally taking him down silent doing a good job taking up three kills on the round but lunatic set up so well a in that two on one just to toy with him and not allow him to get any kind of traction but uh just for b you know as they were working into the site setting up that three-man crossfire just gunning the method players down as they were coming in despite giving up the first frag really impressive stuff from lunatic You've got a tie score, Lunatic Esports in charge. They've got three FAMASs and two SMGs. I believe those are our, our MP7s in their hands. You're going to see Team Method setting up for a B take classic strategy with the Armor Tech 9 Rush Ely loading up as the support player. All the grenades in the world. You're going to see two smokes going down at B site. Not quite yet, though. They flash themselves in. They're going to save those smokes until later. Get the entry frag. That's critical. Drop it in. Okay, Silent's going to smoke off market. And uh, not quite sure where the other smoke is going, but it's all about delay, delay, delay. Silent gets himself kind of a bad situation. Does some damage. 
Doesn't get any kills. Allows Tivu to get into the site. Strebor all alone. Tivu rocking it with the FAMAS. Let's his teammate take the kill. That's going to be draw soul. And plenty of time for a bomb defuse. Yeah, Three kills. So. Not bad. No, no, not not bad at all. Actually, uh, pretty good job taking a, a lot of guns out of the lunatic uh, members' hands. They are able to come up with two FAMASs, which are you know really the, the more expensive guns there. Uh, so you know, kind of, kind of not bad for either team. I, I feel like that one, you know, could have gone a little bit better for Method there, but I think getting the bomb down and really putting that pressure on a Lunatic is a success in and of itself. And Lunatic, even though they gave up the bomb state that early, coming with that retake, definitely a success there. Super important from that cat guy. I lost track of who it was to spot out that player near the door, hiding in that that cheeky corner that could have caused a lot of problems for a Lunatic. So. Good communication between the lunatic players, and I, I think it was Tivu who would have been caught off guard by it. So, the invert there, invert doing work at connector as the massive push comes out by Palace. These are on site, but they're getting caught off guard. Look at this invert playing the stairs position now. One, two, I think he's got the three K Tivu picking up the rest of the kills. Bombs down, not even planted. Ten and eight. Hey, it's an eco rush. Do the best you can. Lunatic leading the way. They should upgrade their guns. You got Invert now rocking the off. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they are going to be upgrading those two FAMASs, but, you know, Lunatic has been winning these rounds. I mean, yes, they've been aiming really well. They've been doing a good job with the guns they have in their hands, but they've really been winning positionally. They've just been putting themselves in such great positions and, and winning the rounds based off that. Nothing too flashy. Uh, individually just really good positioning. So those FAMASs may not uh, hurt them too badly. I have Invert peeking mid pretty aggressively from Cat using that smoke as cover. He's going to have to fall back as it dissipates. And he's going to spot Ely out there in the top of mid. He's going to try to find that frag anywhere he can. There oh, he there goes. it is. Good fragging going on for Invert, but you've got a full A site take underway. Strabor peeking around the corner is able to spot Invert, take him down. He knows there's a player on cap. They know there's a player in CT. The thing is, they don't know that there are actually two. Strabor's going to plant in a safe position, planting for cat and ramp. I think you can even see that position from Palace. Very, very good spot. Draw Soul already on the site, working his way up. Drake's creating a distraction. Uh, Draw Soul peeks the corner, takes Strabor by surprise. Good effort by Lunatic Esports. I like the way they played it. They had multiple members stacked over there at CT, and they were able to kind of uh, bait each other out and get the kills, but it was too little too late. Yeah, and because uh, Method forced so many rebuys from Lunatic early on, they're not quite going to be in a position to rebuy, exception of uh, Doomor, who's sitting on $5,000. The last two Lunatic members got their feet kind of tied up there by the triple stack box. They knew where Mainline was, and they didn't want to get caught out from him, so they both kind of started moving in the same direction. They, I guess one was trying to run away from Mainline, the other one was trying to engage, and because they kind of bumped into each other and got tied up on each other, uh, neither of their plans were successful there. And Drake's actually going to be pushed up so far in B and gets caught out by Silent. Oh, man, so unfortunate. Could have been so effective for him. He's opening picks so far going in favor of Method, but Drossel bringing it back slightly. Very nice. You get the pick over there at the B site, but uh, Method focused hard on taking A site. Really not the right choice, but Mainline, hey, he's going to find the player over there in Palace. Peeks around the corner and uh, bomb back of A. Just go for the kills. Do more stuck in connector all alone. Silent's going to find him with the AK-47, but you know what? It's one of those eco round holds for Lunatic Esports. They're just going to try and hold on, do the best that they can. Uh, later, I'm a little surprised that we haven't seen a single one of these weird, like, CT rush strategies on an eco. Sometimes they can be so devastating if you nade stack the right corner. You're supposed to lose it anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, d definitely. I, I feel like that just more is uh, a testament to Lunatic's play style and that, you know, they, I feel like they could find success in a rush, but I, I feel like they are way more comfortable in trying to set up crossfires and traps with Method coming to them rather than them trying to come to Method. Uh, I feel like it's just a, a stylistic difference. I'm not sure if one is right or wrong. You know, clearly, I think Lunatic, you know, picks the, the, the tries to set up like insights with stacks and have players hit in, uh, just because it, it fits their their play style and what they do uh, best. Whereas a, a team, you know, I guess kind of like Method, but it, you know, really more of like a I'm thinking like Tempo Storm, 
with some really aggro players, like they will really push something and get aggressive in there. It's not really a lunatic's game, I feel. No, no. So far, it's been pretty rough. 10 and 10. Here come the grenades. Looks like a standard A site take. Make it rain. Smokes abound. Flashbangs in. Drake hiding in connector. Oh. Thinking no one's going to check it. In fact, uh, they do get checked, but they get punished for that. A uh, couple of kills. T's get entry on the site, but now it's down to silent. All alone. Invert hunting him down. Silent. Super hurt. Going to get shot in the head. Invert. That was not supposed to happen that way what went wrong uh, i mean the the cross it's it's not so much what went wrong for method as to uh what went right for lunatic and there were so many players that i feel like were dead to rights for uh lunatic but the crossfire ended up prevailing i feel like that player i believe it was drake uh pushed up in the sandwich area as you said got peaked by two players and there was no reason why he should have lived from there but uh the, the crossfire came in and bailed him out between his teammates just there's so many more angles to look at for for method than they are checked and uh, because of that, they're getting cut down, you know, not even looking at the player that is that is doing the core fragging. This round, they're going to be going right out in B, mainline, oh, so mainline. fine. CT, I think that was invert cross, directly in front of him, blind. That would have been such an easy kill. What an absolute shame. Three versus three. It's a travesty tonight. Uh, draw soul. Trying to work the retake. Bomb has been planted by Method. Grenades are coming out. Here's the big problem, though. Everybody knows exactly where these last two CTs are. Tivu gets maybe a little bit too aggressive. Gets shut down by Justin, putting Silent into a 2v1 situation. If he just plays the bomb. Oh, just misses Tivu. Is able to get the kill. Starts peeking, refiring every single corner. Ooh. And it works. The gamble plays off. Draw Soul's dead. And the bomb is going to go off. Method 11-11 still tied. Such a close game on Mirage. Yeah, I'm really impressed with uh, Method's uh, T side on this map. Or... Uh, yeah, I really, I really did not think they would be able to make it so competitive on this half. And now they're in a position where they can even take the lead and start to pull away, which I, I feel like is just not something that I had anticipated at all. This round with rifles in their hands, they're looking to uh, spread out and find picks. Looks like they're going to be gearing up uh, to find, like, well, I guess it's, see, they're expecting the pushes, I guess, that you were expecting from Lunatic as well. Even yeah. that round, you know, Mainline and Ely were waiting back on mid, expecting to get pushed there, and just it never came. Streber now looking oh, for Drossel here. Drossel has used this spot before, or at least someone has. I'm not sure if it was Drossel, so I wouldn't be surprised if he checks right there. Oh, no, okay. unfortunately, looks away at the wrong time and gives up an AK for it. Not terribly bad though i mean it was a one for one trade and his teammates have already done some work drossel's got the ak-47 he might just be happy going ahead and saving it the bomb is all the way at the back of palace but i don't think drossel saw it realizes that quite yet sees mainline un unload some spray mainline's going to take his last remaining teammate down that's going to be do more nice work by drossel though doing everything he can now that they know there's only one last player alive in the a set they're going to take the bomb to b Draw soul hunted down by silent and uh, pretty much as expected that time around 12 and 11 break it down later yeah draw soul putting uh, his money where his mouth is with that push and uh, really all of lunatic just trying their hardest on these plays but uh, eventually just you know you can't bank on every eco being a successful one and method no. i feel like no, not, not that they weren't trying beforehand, but now just, you know, you got to imagine they are really locked in right now. They know the game is winnable if they can just stay cool, stay calm, stay collected with the rifles in their hands and not give up these eco rounds that they are very capable of winning. Uh, it feels like Method is just slowing things down properly, not making any egregious mistakes and uh, and punishing the, the lunatic players. In you know, in whatever way they can, this one it happens to be on Drossel taking that aggressive play on the the balcony once again. But looks like we have three players look. grouped up on CT. Yeah, look at that stack. Like, yeah, this is the kind of trap that is what Lunatic is all about. They're not the kind of team that will straight up push mid uh, like Method did earlier, but they will try to set up a uh, you know some kind of weird play here. And it's not gonna work out for them. Oh, actually, look at Drake getting loose well. with the CZ. Yeah, they've got a couple of kills over there. I think they got a little bit too aggressive. They gave away their positions too early. 
Doomor is now the last man standing. Ooh. Somehow managed to pick up an AK, takes Ely down, and now it's Justin. Doomor has a feeling he's there. He's looking low at dark, not up high. Justin takes the kill through the platform at Palace. Uh, that was really, really close. That was a save round for Lunatic Esports. They very nearly turned it around thanks to Doomor doing some nice fragging. He got the 2K, couldn't quite get the 3K for the win. And Drake with that CZ, they definitely were not expecting a yeah. third man in CT. There's almost no reason why that trap should have worked, but that that is the kind of play that is exactly up Lunatic's alley, and they almost won for it. It was just unfortunate that Doomor didn't have a kid, had to force the engagement early, and you know, and also had his position revealed on a ramp after he got that first frag. If he was able to, you know, stay silent and creep up, and, and then try to engage that last remaining terrorist, I think it would have been one that he was he very easily could have won, but. Just so many factors going against him there. And uh, a round that Lunatic should not have even been close to winning almost, you know, was worked down to a one on one and eventually a win for them. So Doomar's going to be pushing up in B this round, finding oh, two players. No. I think he was expecting none. He kind of did a quick peek like he yeah. was doing it, like he was doing his due diligence, but didn't really expect anyone there, let alone two players there. Yeah, that seemed like a bit of a mistake, because he clearly saw them, and then he turns his cross here away without taking a single shot. Uh, Mainline now going to go ahead and take Tivu, and that shifts the balance of power in favor of Method. T-side as they come swinging into A-side. The only person to contest them is going to be Draw Soul, hiding by CT, Juke at the corner, taking a couple of shots. Actually does take Silent down. That's great work. But little does he know, Bomb is uh, sitting... Molly. At the B site, yeah, it got mollied, but uh, it's going to buy a little bit of time for the rotate. Justin picks it up, fakes it, trying to bait out this player. That's going to be Invert working the off. I don't know if he knows exactly where he is. Nope, peeks the corner, Invert takes the kill. Oh, That's main really bad. Line. Main line's going to get killed. Oh, 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 what a crazy back and forth with Mainline coming out on top. Got absolutely blessed by the CS gods when Invert hit him through something. I'm not sure if it was the wall or one of those metal shelves as he was coming into the uh, the, the market area. There was 20 seconds on the clock when Invert got that first frag on the player in sight. You know, I guess he wanted to take that aggressive peek uh, and yeah. uh, trying to catch Mainline off guard there. You know, Mainline probably would have assumed that he would fall back off that and try to play the clock, but, man, must be kicking himself right there. I wouldn't take very easily, could have spun that round into, a, you know, a few more, trying to get some momentum back. That would have been a huge play for Invert and his team, but with that, Method further extends their lead. They're so close to locking this game up and making... Uh, this a push when we're not only playing Lunatic's favorite map, but they also got beat really badly on the first map. I love watching Strebor play for peaks at Palace, checking everything. He starts chucking a few grenades out, so he gives his position away. Tivu's in this spot. I love to play myself. Crouch down, watching. Sees he gets the uh, the tell from his teammate, gets the headshot on Strebor, then peeks around the corner, takes mainline down. Kind of predictable. Somebody's coming out Palace. That means somebody's probably going to also be coming out ramp, going towards Tetris, takes him down. Tibu also with Ely fragged down. It's going to be two versus four, and uh, everybody is rotated for Lunatic Esports over to the Actually, A bomb site. Now they're back. rotating off. back. Yeah, I feel like they it's been taking so long for Method to work the bomb out towards A that they thought they were being faked, but in reality they were just holding off really well. Justin hitting a great shot coming out of apartments. Let's see if he can get a second one, but no, the crossfire between CT and Evox was too much, and Silent gets exposed there. They know he's in that sandwich area. This could be a huge broken buy slash eco from Lunatic if they can come out on top. Invert standing on the boxes. Yeah, gonna find that frag and he's gonna come <laughs> away with that op that Invert wants so desperately. Now Method, because they had so many rebuys forced, are gonna look like it looks like they have to save to uh, try to compete and try to win. Oh man, this is working to to be such a uh, great game. I was so sure at multiple instances that a lunatic was gonna be able to pull away, and every time I, I get that feeling, yeah. it seems like method impresses me. They're gonna be going right towards B on a rush. Now I'm actually gonna slow it down. I was hoping they would go right towards B, get some quick action, but no, I think it is the smarter play to slow things down here. Well, here it is. Not quite the blowout that we expected. 14 and 12, Lunatic Esports making a nice comeback after their first win on uh, on Cash 16 and 5. Invert doing nice work on defense. Offing gets the 2K bomb. It's gonna in give the hands up the of Justin. 
That's very interesting. Yeah, you're right. Gives up the all. Shut down. Bomb makes its way towards back of mid. And look at these T players. They are spread out all over the place. Silent, all alone, no one to trade with. Dun uh, do more, takes them down. And now you got two guys stuck at mid. Lucky for them, no one on Lunatic knows what's up yet. Yeah, let's see if they can battle back here and use that op effectively. Ely is going to get spotted out in mid. It's going to make it that much tougher for him to win the round. 30 seconds on the clock. Eventually, Method's going to have to try to make a play. They have to do something. Justin's got the off though. Might be wise to go ahead and back off. Try to save that off. Do something a little bit later. They do have a couple of rounds to throw away. It's 14-12 off. Shots away. Drake is dead. Dumore peeks the corner. Justin could have taken him out, but uh, Dumore gets the better of him. 14-13. Super, super close. And you finally have just enough money to go ahead and make a force buy. For team method, they want to close this out fast. Finish. Yeah, off. this is gonna be a super crucial round for really both teams here. Invert gonna be able to grab that off, so he's not just gonna be holding on to a P250. But on the other side, Ely, no money for a rifle there. The other players though gonna be strapped up with the AK47s and actually a healthy amount of grenades to work with. They're gonna be gearing up for a B take of some kind. It's going to be up to Drake, who's pushing Cat right now, and Doomore, who's up there in the apartments area to, to make the hold happen. Drake could also uh, get a frag here on Ely, start things off right for his team. Good nade, doing just shy of uh, 40 damage. I love it. You never see these standard, like, massive grenade oh, smoke Doomore. strategies. Doomore shut down, got a little bit too aggressive. He was supposed to be flashbanged out, though. He was hiding behind the wall. Drake gets one kill, then gets uh, traded one for one at the B bomb site. Bomb's gonna go down. Compliments the main line. Strabar pushes his way forward and uh, gets a frag. Main line hanging out. All alone. Ely from apps. Trying to play support. Main line spots one. Takes some shots. Inverts the last man standing. Somebody just dropped off for losing the support. That's bad. Invert gets a kill. Can he find main line? He's going the right way. If he peeks it right now. Wrong answer. Invert. Dead yeah. main line with a headshot. Uh, did Tivu dropping out cause them the round? Kind of. I mean, it's really hard to say what exactly caused them the round, but Tivu did drop out. He just he never left spawn. He had a, a, a rifle on his back and never made it out of spawn. They're claiming that he lagged out before the round started. Hmm. I, I feel like if he had timed out before, I guess they didn't know he had timed out before the round started, but I, that's, I mean, if you if he times out before the round starts, I feel like that's when you have to pause, or as they're saying right now, you have to call, you have to flag it before the round starts. Because, I mean, Method themselves didn't know that that round wasn't live necessarily, that they wanted it to not be live. I, I'm not really sure. No if it's necessarily fair to them to give Lunatic uh, the, the redo just for the sake of the redo. Yeah. Really unfortunate there for Lunatic. I'm not really sure what the... Hmm. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not sure what... I, I feel like it might be up to Method showing, you know, mercy to Lunatic in the words of uh, their players, but I'm not really sure if Method necessarily has to uh, oblige them for a match medic there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure what the official ruling is here. I mean, clearly Tivu did drop out. He wasn't able to play the round, but uh, the the ruling is whatever the ruling is going to be. Um, lots of stuff being chatted. I'm hearing from our cameraman the match is going to be going into an unpause. The score right now is 15 and 13. Method is in charge, leading. They need one more point for victory. Lunatic did take the win on the first map of Cash 16 and 5. Bit of a landslide victory over here. Uh, Lunatic now, they're going to be on a force buy. I mean, it's all they can do. 1M4 and anything you've got. Armor, pistols, hope for a miracle as uh, we prepare for a push. Yeah, and uh, the Method players saying uh, they, they think they have faith in Lunatic to, to tie it up anyway, uh, which is a, a funny comment to make and someone actually getting worked down to.
60 HP. Uh, you know, it's a really unfortunate circumstance that they were put in, but it's definitely not on method there. It's not, you know, method shouldn't be put right. in that position where, you know, they are forced to make that decision. Uh, unfortunately, it, it's an unfortunate situation that happened, but there are... There are things in place to you know to to help that and aid in that and it's not on it's not on method it's on lunatic. Tivu getting flashed in to peek. Look at this. Lots of peeking going on for lunatic esports. They're trying to get the information. Even though everybody at method is hanging out at ramp, I don't think they actually saw anything going on. Three members. Drake's gonna go down very quickly. Three members stacked near a site. Justin creeping in. They're playing very passive angles. Kind of what you want to do. On a pistol round, draw soul is going to take main line. That was the one M4A1 silence. Doing some work. Strebber are also going to get shut down. Thanks to Draw Soul. Draw Soul doing really nice work. Look at this. Three members down. Ely is all the way down to seven health. And Justin trapped by Firebox. Ely is over by Sandwich. Both very bad positions to be in. I mean, it's so easy to get picked off, naded. If you're rushed, where are you going to go? Ely trying to peek the corner, watching. Covering. They need one more kill. Do something. Secure the bomb site. Invert. Already hurt. Gets hit. Uh, Justin goes for the plant. Do more. Sees him. Unfortunately, wasn't meant to be. Last kill went uh, in favor of Lunatic Esports. What an amazing play. Yeah, really great play from them and, and forcing Method to work the clock down so wow. low there. When those two players were trying to find those picks... Uh, there was like 20 seconds left on the clock. They were forcing themselves to, to make a play because so much time had been burned and the Lunatic players did such a good job of keeping them away for so long after Method chose to do a, a slightly longer timed strat on the round. And with that, Lunatic now in a position where they can force it to OT unless Method steps up huge with these Tech 9s in their hands. Method it's, said, hey, you know, we're not going to match Medic, but, you know, be, get, it, get to OT. We, we have faith in you. Uh, and it looks like uh, Lunatic might now have faith in themselves. It's almost guaranteed to go to the favor of Lunatic Esports. Mainline Strapper both shut down very quickly. Look at Tivu playing the corner by the boxes. Uh, getting lots and lots of frags before getting run down. I think those shots came from Palace. That's all right. Justin, last man standing. Look how fast that happened. Shots are fired. Uh, invert with the last 2K. And we have a tied game. 15 and 15. Method Lunatic Esports tied up on Mirage as we prepare for overtime. Number one, who would have thought it? Mergens and Chad, not happy. Yeah, <laughs> I could definitely see how uh, this would make the viewers on edge. But yeah, this, this is, I feel like this is what we were waiting for after that, that first game. Uh, I was a little, a little concerned that this would just be a, a quick night for uh, the Method players, and that this would be, you know, not a you know a disappointing game, but just a, a boring game for uh, us. But no, it seems like Method now with a, a fire lit underneath them, looking to claw, claw their way back into it as they gave up the last few rounds to Lunatic. It is going to be MR3, 10K. So. You know, I'm, I'm curious to see if Method can keep it up or if this momentum that Lunatic has accrued is going to prove to be too much for uh, for Method to overcome. It seems like Lunatic is now starting to hit their stride, and with uh, you know both teams getting 10k right off the bat, you're going to get that AWP on Invert that, that he's been working so well all game on both maps. So it's, it's going to be a tough one. I don't even know which way to call this one anymore. This is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, if you look at these kills... 30k is being dropped, almost 30k is being dropped by both sides. You got 28 kills, 31 kills by Justin, 29 for Draw Soul, 25, 24. Big, big game. Tied up, Method and Lunatic Esports. I think Method going into the start of the season was expected to be kind of the, the big name at the lower end of the spectrum, certainly above Lunatic Esports. But my, how the tables have turned. Lunatic taking the first map of cash, and now they've tied it up, hungry for a victory. The match is live. Everybody's got lots and lots of money. It's going to be six rounds, big money, full buys, tease of method favoring uh, an all AK strategy as opposed to the double ops of Lunatic Esports. What's going to happen? Draw still already getting the first kill. Yeah, and the Lunatic player is actually mixing things up and pushing up in mid, getting a bunch of information. Three method players grouped up in B. I guess they're going to try to throw a fake of some kind while the bomb sneaks into A. It's a high risk, high reward play. Drossel not biting on it at all. Very disciplined play. Until you see the bomb, don't rotate all your players. He has to just stay put, stay patient. 
Invert taking down Silent. I think Lunatic has kind of figured it out. Drossel didn't move at all, and two players are rotating back towards A. They refuse to get faked out, and there you go. Drossel finding Ely. Strat imploding mm. as there's only two terrorists left, and they are just spread out completely. Yeah, the bomb is down in A site. T is completely spread out. No one's in a position to make a trade. Justin luckily able to take out two more, and I do mean that luckily. He's in the B site. If only he had a bomb. Uh, meanwhile, Mainline's going to go in all alone to Palace. He's going to find Tivu in here. I think he just might have seen uh, a little bit of a shoulder. He certainly did this time. Even though he had the uh, the intel on where Tivu was, ends up uh, getting shut down at the same time his teammates killed. And uh, there is the first round of overtime in favor of Lunatic. 16 and 15. There's still plenty of money in overtime to go ahead and buy out full for Method. They can turn it around this round. This round only, though. Yeah, yeah, if they uh, don't find the success this round, or even if they do maybe come away with a round one but lose a, a bunch of their rifles, who knows what round three is going to look like. Lunatic holding on to those double ops, looking to make a play with them. Silent, an op of his own, going to be looking for a pick, and he's actually going to get punished by Invert there. Offer right out of the game, and Invert finds a second one on Justin. Great start for Lunatic to close this game out. Well, look at that Strabor. He's hurt. Main line ends up going down thanks to Tivu. That was a nice palace pick. Walking out with your gun showing. That's bad. Tivu's been playing that corner almost every single round. If Method would just figure that out, they can walk out and free fire it. Uh, might be time to maybe change things up. I don't know. Ely run through fire. That might be bad. Strabor shot in the back, and it's up to Ely all alone. Three versus one. He's got two offs. Gets peeked by one of them. That's going to be Edenbert. And it's 15 and 17. Lunatic Esports leading in the first half of overtime and forcing Method to, uh, well, force by. Yeah, scrounge together what they can. It seems like the scrounging is uh, not too terrible. They are going to get rifles and uh, nades on the vast majority of their players. Silent, the only player to come away with no real rifle there, and it's because he uh, bought that off and was killed with it. Now Lunatic in a position where they can win all three on the CT side this first half of overtime. That has to be a really comfortable place to be if you are a Lunatic, but the A take is on. The Method players it. are running right through that fire. Standard A take with bomb lurking at B. Problem is, they're not making any penetration. They're not getting the injury frags that they need. And uh, so cold. what a disaster. All the T's completely shut down. That's going to force Method to go ahead and push alone. Now that shots are fired, the call's been made. Rotate, rotate fast. Even if they get into sight, which they don't, you'd see a rapid rotate. And uh, Method, they just never, ever stood a chance because that A site take failed. Yeah, oh man, the both fakes that they tried to run this half, uh, or this half of OT rather, just were not sold properly. I mean, it's not that they weren't necessarily sold properly, it's just that the, the Lunatic players didn't bite at all. In yeah. both instances, they did rotate some players, but uh, it was do more last time, and uh, man, who was it last? Was it, uh, might have been Drossel uh, on, the, uh, on the first one, just didn't, they just, neither of them budged at all on uh, the fakes and it's such a disciplined play from them clearly great communication between uh the, the players and whatever mumble team speak they're using because they are just they're this stayed cool calm and collected and picked up an easy three round i mean at no point were really they in any danger in those three rounds right well we're gearing up for overtime second half teams have switched they're going to have lots and lots of money available for them waiting to ready up, Ely is the last man right here. 18 and 15. This is really ugly here because what Method needs to do is they need to win this first round and then win the next two, tie it, and force us into OT number two, or else it's going to be all over. Lunatic Esports in command. The odds on all the betting sites were in favor of Team Method. I think that's uh, the expected deal. But as you said, they've been stale. They've been the stale can of Coca-Cola. And uh, Lunatic Esports is season of the day. Carpe diem. Prepping for a win. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. I just had to check to double check what you're saying. I'm surprised that Method were the, the, the quote-unquote betting favorite uh, yeah. in this game. I, I, I didn't think that at all looking at this matchup. I'm surprised that other people mostly did. mostly Lunatic players in your Vulcan. 
Yeah, and I, I don't think I picked the right one, but either way, doesn't <laughs> matter. Method Ely, I mean, starting things off right for his team, picking up two frags with that off. Last time they got punished really badly by Lunatic boosting members up into window through that smoke. It was Drake who actually got a knife on Ely in, in the first half using that strategy, and Ely's not going to fall for it this time. He's putting a, a, a lot of focus there, making sure he's not getting boosted on. Well, we've got two kills already, Drake and Invert both shut down for Lunatic Esports. This is really good news for Method. They've got to win this. If they don't win this one round, it is all over tonight. Dumore peeks up the corner, takes the kill on Justin. That's going to be the first one, possibly allowing entry on A site. Look at the stack on A site, very much open. We've got one player, Elite, working his way up towards A, working it with an AWP. We now have a one, two, and one stack bomb walking in the B site. Check your corners, draw a soul, watch, find that extra player. Number five, mainline, working from back of uh, B apps. Kind of a strange position, uh, a spot that you typically don't expect anybody to come from. He's already pushed all the way forward. He's thinking it's not B. Silence yeah. shut down by Draw Soul. That's kind of the tell right there. Yeah, and I oh, Dumar is actually gonna get shot in the back and punished. Love that play from Draw Soul. As uh, right before Tivu puts down the bomb, he actually puts himself in a position to catch a frag, like based off of the sound. So Draw Soul gonna catch an engagement against Streber. Now it is a one-on-one -on -one mainline last man standing. He's actually gonna win the one-on-one -on -one with just 12 HP, and with that kit, he is going to get the easy defuse mainline. Stepping up huge for his team. I mean, really, finally. Not that he'd been playing poorly, but, you know, just definitely playing below what he is capable of, typically. Uh, and finally stepping up big for his team, not only with the 2K, but that huge one-on-one -on -one win. What I was getting at is that they, instead of just having Tifu plant right off the bat and getting in the site, he let his teammate get into a position to catch people rotating based off the plant sound. And uh, with that, it was an easy opening frag. And uh, really, if Dumore hadn't get caught, gotten caught off guard by Streber there, it would have been a completely different round. He wasn't expecting two in CT. Method. Critical, critical round right there. Now they're going to set up for a standard B take. Everybody's walking up there. I think somebody ended up throwing a, uh, a smoke in the mid connector not quite sure if that was a smoke or a flashbang now they set up all sorts of standard smokes on site uh one's going to get picked off by silence and another uh that's invert and drake both going down two more returning fire to mainline look at silent here all alone bomb site control belongs to the t-side lunatic all they have to do is push in they've got three players pinned in at market afraid to peek out do more sees the corner holding on to market door bomb afraid to move in that's going to be draw so holding on to the bomb tv returning fire bomb gets planted at this point in time and i think what meth is doing is they're saying you know what let's just go ahead and try and bait these guys out force them to come out but now that the bomb is planted the tables have turned it's up to method to go ahead and do something Ely's flashed out they rush and wow like instantaneously three members die it's going to be do more tv uh, making the kills, 1916, Lunatic with the win, and that's the end. Yeah, and that just really is another testament to how disciplined wow. Lunatic is. As you said, those Method players were just looking for Lunatic to peak anywhere. It didn't matter where they peaked. They just had to peak something, and they refused to give Method that opportunity. Really solid play from Lunatic to close that out, and a, a big 2-0 win for them here. Uh, I, I think they expected some slightly easier round wins on Mirage than what they yeah. ended up getting. But either way, after that really sick 16-5 performance on uh, Cash, I'm, I'm sure they're happy to take a win any way that they can get it. Yeah, absolutely colossal. Lunatic Esports, they deserve all the credit in the world for uh, coming out on top and besting Method tonight. Cash, amazing game, 16 and 5. And then Mirage, overtime, winning it in the OT. Lots of scores, lots of kills. My apologies to everybody there on CSGO Lounge and all the different betting sites out there. For choosing and, uh, I feel like team. the uh, the odds were 50-50. When you're betting on that kind of game, you have to yeah. uh, accept that kind of outcome. I'm, I'm right. honestly genuinely surprised the odds were even slanted in that direction 
it doesn't really make sense to me. And I think this this best of two really showed why uh, that was kind of an odd betting line. But yeah, I, I still uh, I really respect Method's ability to make a comeback there, uh, not get too discouraged by getting just beaten so badly on the first map. We're able to come back and really put a hurting uh, on a lunatic and make them a, a little scared there. I mean, lunatic was so you know desperate there for a win that they were trying to match medic or they're trying to like get Method to make a decision yeah. on a match medic that wasn't really well, even up to them that's one of those things i mean when you're playing at that level and you really you need that win you're going to go for every single possibility and it's very unfortunate i think it was tivu who dropped out of the server earlier but on the flip side we've seen that earlier we saw a lot of dropouts by uh by pex in the first game that was liquid versus ace gaming and uh they played on and did the best they could so uh yeah phenomenal congratulations to uh the team liquid for great play i think congratulations for ace as well for going up against such a such a major team like liquid big big names big big players and and performing as well as they did they actually made a 16 and 12 effort on their first map of train and then lunatic coming out they were one of the bottom teams initially nobody really expected a lot from them and here they are going face to face against method and winning it in the overtime ultimately on mirage for two how about that yeah Really impressive stuff from, uh, I really think pretty much every team we saw tonight had a, a good showing in one way or another. I mean, obviously Liquid and uh, Lunatic were the, the big winners tonight, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, still impressed with yep. both Method and Ace Gaming. There was, you know, if if Method had gotten blown out on map two, would have been a completely different story. But the fact they were able to battle back to me is really impressive. All right. Well, that about does it. Uh, any closing comments there later? Um... You can check us out on Twitter. I, I think our Twitter names are going to be right below our faces. So you guys can, you know, tweet whatever you want to us uh, yeah. and follow us. We will always, well, for the most, I'm not sure if I, I tweeted before this one. That, that might be on me. But for the most part, we tweet before we're live. We tweet about our schedules. So um, right. I think you're going to be tweeting about some pretty cool plane stuff, right? You're a, you're a pilot, so you yeah. Actually, check I go out. back go back to work tomorrow. So um, I'll try. You know, I usually don't talk a whole lot because all my Twitter followers are pilots but now that i'm casting csgo i know a lot of you guys are probably interested about the world of aviation so yeah follow me it's at pat flanagan's below my name over here uh you'll see counter-strike stuff and then when i'm at work uh you might see a couple of airplane things here and there yeah so that, that's really cool stuff way more interesting than what my i mean mine's just counter-strike so just you should definitely boring. definitely check him out on twitter a uh, quick shout out to our sponsors csgo lounge um well, so you can check out the client on uh, at Sevo.com. You can play free 128 tick hugs, scrims, deathmatch, league matches uh, also take place on there. You can go to Vulcan.com, V-U-L-C-U-N, and use the code Sevo and get a 100% deposit fee right back into your account. So if you want to put in $5 for some one-day fantasy bet games, you could get $5 right back into your account. So That's check awesome. that out as well. That is really all I have. Awesome. Well, later. It was a pleasure. Uh, that was later. I'm Pat Flanagan, also known as Saba, wishing you all good games. Good night. Have a good night, everybody.